I'm Larry Richard. And I'm John Shumway. And who doesn't like a good magic act? But we're talking about more than just a good magic act. Looking down this guy's career, I mean, he levitates someone during a parade on a float, among many other things, performed with Marvin Hamlish in the Pittsburgh Symphony at Heinz Hall, and has been on every national stage you can imagine. Now, he's our guy. Yeah. He's a West Mifflin native, and now he's got a new CW television series, Masters of Illusion, which premieres on August 1st, this Friday night at 8. Joining us from Reno, Nevada this morning, Michael Grandinetti on our 84 Lumber Newsline. Michael, good morning. Good morning, guys. How are you? So how did your magic acts go over at Duquesne University? Did your professors enjoy that? <laughs> you know what? I got so much support uh, from everyone at Duquesne, and I continue to get so much support from everyone in Pittsburgh. Uh, I, I just appreciate it so much. Can you make my daughter's tuition disappear? <laughs> You know, I, I, my my family asked that same uh, request for that same trick when I was there, and I'm still working on that. Still working on that. All this right, time. and we have you on because you're going to be on a big national stage this coming Friday night, uh, eight o'clock on the CW, and it's Masters of Illusion. Yes, yeah, I'm really excited about this show. We really try to do something special. Uh, you know, I've I've been in love with the combination of magic and television for years. And in this show, we try to give the home viewer a really unique experience, not only with the illusions that we do, but in the way that they're filmed. We have 360-degree camera shots. We have handheld cameras moving even under illusions while they're being performed. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely very excited about it. Well, I can say this, that, you know, how we take pride in Pittsburghers making it big on a big stage. This is pretty extraordinary. So growing up in West Mifflin, who were your illusionist or magic heroes? You know, I, I tried to study everything that I could about magic, and it was challenging because in those days there was no YouTube, there was no Internet, so I really had to go and search it out. But uh, And to this day, I love watching magic from around the world, so I, I can't say there was any one particular, but um, I, I always enjoyed watching magic from you know any source that I could. I think, John, you met Houdini, didn't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> John, you sound great for your age. That's amazing. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, listen to the young pup over there. Uh, so, you know, when you're talking about performing in a live arena like you're doing in Reno or, uh, you know, at uh, Heinz Field or wherever you might perform, PNC Park, I mean, there has to be a certain level of butterflies going on. Well, you know, I get very excited before every show. I enjoy it. Like, we, we perform at 8 o'clock at night here in Reno uh, every night, and 8 to 9.30 is my favorite part of the day. Uh, you know, it, it's not really nerves. It's just anticipation and, and excitement. I'm a lucky guy. I get to do what I wanted to do since I was five years old. So, uh, you know, I really can't wait to do it every night. Yeah, and they're billing this show you're on Friday as uh, Michael Grandinetti levitates, walks through steel. Is that what we're going to see or not see? That's what you're going to see. We put in this show, we taped six so far, we taped six different illusions for the show, uh, all of which have never been seen before on television. So when the viewers tune in, they're going to see some some you know pretty unique things, I hope. You know, Michael, I, I'm wondering if with the technology the way it is and everything that can be done uh, with television and, you know, the things we see on YouTube that in reality never happened, uh, if people are a little more skeptical about magic. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, I, I, I think so. And I think you have to be really careful with the way you present magic on television. Uh, you know, we don't cut away. When we start the illusion from start to finish, it's one camera shot. I think that's important. We have a live audience there. We taped this in Hollywood, and there were 300 people live watching. Um, and also, you know, like I said, we had the cameras moving around the illusions, behind the illusions. In some cases, when I float up in the air, even under me, to let the people at home uh, know that they're seeing everything from every possible angle. In many cases, they have a better view at home watching on television than they would have had they actually been there watching it in the audience in Hollywood. So, you know, we, we do try and be very careful with that so they have a, um, so they know that nothing tricky or nothing, you know, funny is going on. So you are performing in Reno. You'll be on TV on the CW at 8 on Friday. When will you be coming home to Pittsburgh, even if it's just a visit? I hope very soon. You know, I try and get back there as much as I can. Um, we were we performed a couple of years ago at the Plumbo Center, and it was it was it was wonderful. It was like a it was like a reunion looking out at that audience. You know, people the people of Pittsburgh are so supportive. Um, you know, I really hope I'm going to get back there soon.
How many people come up to you after the show and say, come on, tell me how you did that? <laughs> oh, we, I get that a lot. We meet the audience every night after the show. But I'll tell you something. They don't want to know. They really don't want to know. I, if I told you how something was done, it would feel great for about five seconds, and then you'd be incredibly disappointed. Trust me on that. Because <laughs> ultimately, we are talking about illusions. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's illusion. You know, but if you think about it, there's nothing else really that gives you that sense of amazement. Right? So you're not hurting me by knowing how it's done. You're kind of hurting yourself because you're not getting you know, amazed anymore. I wish I could watch magic and, and be amazed. I, I know too much. I've been doing it for too long. Uh, so really, you don't want to, you don't want to take that away from yourself. Knowing too much. I don't have that problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking forward to checking you out Friday night on the CW. Uh, the television series is Masters of Illusion, eight o'clock. It's Michael Grandinetti of West Mifflin. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, Michael, and thanks. It's three hours, so it's five forty-five at uh, at Ouch. Reno, right? Yeah, it is. It is five forty-five. But you know what? I, I would I would wake up early for you guys every morning. I appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you, and uh, good luck in your future. And uh, come see us when you're in town. Let us know. Thank you so much. I definitely will. Now we're going to disappear from your phone and let you go back to sleep, <laughs> Michael. Have a great day, guys. This you will too. all have been an illusion.